Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Just Retera and An Hast. This very beautiful chess game was played in Tilburg in 2006. Retera had white pieces and he started with d4. Hast played d5. Bishop to f4, going for the London system, maybe. e6, e3, c5, c3, the classical London system structure. Knight to c6, knight to d2, knight to f6, white to move, knight to g to f3, and bishop to d3, but the two most played moves. Retra played bishop to g3, bishop to e7, bishop to d3, castling, knight from g to f3, c4, bishop to c2, b5, a3, a5. Why to move? What would you do? Perhaps some players would castle king's side. Retera played e4. Bishop to b7. e5. Gaining the space on the board. And forcing the best defender of the black king to go to another square. Knight to d7. h4. Obviously, white is not planning to castle king's side. But now, b4 black is very active on the queen side where should the white king go what would you do in this position if you had white pieces please pause and find the best move for white did you pause what did you find did you find this bishop sacrifice on h7 Check, kaboom, the Greek gift, not accepted. If king takes on h7, one line goes like this. Knight to g5, check, king to g6, queen to c2, check, f5, h5, check. And now, if the king takes the knight, then bishop to f4, check, king takes bishop, queen to c1, king to g5, trying to escape. But after knight to e4 check, the black king has only one square to go to, and then f3 checkmate. Back to our game. That is why player with the black pieces played king to h8. Knight to g5. g6 trapping the bishop. Maybe. Bishop takes on g6. f takes on g6. And now h5 sacrificing the knight to open the h file. Bishop takes on g5, h takes on g6, check, king to g7, rook to h7, check, king takes pawn, queen to h5, check, king to f5, white, play the move when black resigned and the move is knight to f3, play with the black pieces resigned for the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line, pawn takes pawn on c3, rook takes knight, if queen takes rook, what happens then? If c takes on b2, then queen to h7 check, and after king to g4, queen to h3 check, mate. Wow, what a beautiful attack. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.